Hey guys, what's up? It's Asher, and today I'm going to be talking about the Star Lace Front Wig from Uni Wigs in the color Y115. So, I got this wig a little while ago from UniWigs.com. Um, they contacted me asking if I would review it or whatever. I already used this on a couple of different like makeup looks on Instagram, so you can go check them out there, but... Uh, yeah, I just sort of threw it on today so that I could talk about it for you guys. For starters, it is synthetic, meaning it's plastic. You can't uh, color it or, you know, after a while it's gonna probably just be a big pile of knots, you know. That's that's any synthetic wig though, not just this one. But uh, yeah, that's that's the biggest thing to note about this wig is that it is synthetic, although Uni Wigs does offer human hair wigs as well. This wig comes in uh, three different colors. This is the dark gray color, uh, Y115, I suppose. And there's also like sort of a lavendery, light purpley color, and as well as like a more silver as opposed to a gray. So, now according to the website, the hair texture is, it says wave, but this is obviously like, these are like ringlet curls. Like when I first put it on, it was like, fucking Goldilocks or something, so um, I've sort of like picked it apart with my fingers. And I've really, it's taken it's taken a lot to like resist the urge to brush it all out so that it would be like big curls instead, because I feel like that looks better on me than these really dainty looking like fucking curly curls. These fibers, despite being synthetic, they are heat friendly, so you can flat iron them, curl them, fucking whatever the hell you want to do with it, um, to a degree. Uh, to, to a degree, that was kind of a pun. Um, anyway, you can put thir 350 degrees Fahrenheit heat to this to these fibers. So the length of this wig is approximately 22 inches, which is you know whatever I guess. Uh, it's, it's long for me. You guys can't like see. There it is. Sorry, this shirt's like wrinkly as fuck. The cap size of this wig, which it's listed on this wig, so I'm assuming that you can't not you can't change it. Um, the circumference of this cap is like 22 inches, and there are adjustable. Sorry, I fucking knocked you over there. There are adjustable straps in the back, like most wigs, so you can make it smaller than 22 inches if you want. There are combs right here and on the sides because it is a lace front wig. Wig. It's a lace front wig, which I will get to in a second. Um, so the clips on the side are meant to sort of make it where you don't have to worry about gluing it or anything. And it's also just to help keep it on so you can just fucking like, do whatever the hell you want in it. Yeah, I'm also wearing a hat so I can do that anyway, but you know, I would have been able to do that without the hat on. Okay, I think that's all the site says about the wig. Now, my opinion time. Um, oh, this is also something the site said. The biggest thing that I, the biggest opinion I have about this wig is that it is way overpriced. This wig is about a hundred dollars USD and I mean it's thick. It's not like you know it's just you guys could probably get this exact same wig from like Rockstar Wigs or Ardo Wigs or so anywhere like that honestly for like 40 to 50 bucks as opposed to 99, 80, whatever this wig is, and uh, I mean, not that it's not a good quality wig, I just think that you could also get the same quality wigs from other places, maybe. But, you know, if this website has something specific that you want, I think the quality is definitely there, it's just there are places that have similar things for much cheaper, so... That's, that's one of my biggest complaints. Uh, my second biggest and my only other really is that the lace color is way too dark for my skin um, and on this side I tried to like cover it with white face paint and then like see if that would block the color out so that I could then put my makeup on top of it but you know that didn't work out so I'm just wearing a hat with it fucking sucks that you know I have to do that and I'll probably just end up cutting the lace like all the way off of it and it just won't really be a lace front like by definition or anymore but um, I wanted to keep it on there so I could show you guys. So, anyway, get ready to look at this unmatching lace. Hold on, I don't know like if my wig cap is also showing. Yeah, so and there, that, that's where I tried to color it white. So um, as you can see, this would be fucking glorious if it matched my skin color. So if you have deeper skin than me, like at all, this is going to be great for you. Um, if you're pale, you know, 
the, the reason that I'm a little bit like peeved about it, like if there were options, you know, that'd be fine. And if this one had just happened to come in like a darker skin tone, that's, you know, that would have been one thing. But there was not anywhere on the website that says the color of the lace. So that's sort of something that they should probably add. All of that said, uh, it is pretty thick, you know, you can see it's a lot of hair. Um, I guess I'm going to brush these curls out and come back to you guys and show you what that looks like. So this is after a brushing. It is, it's very soft. Maybe, maybe these fibers are a little bit more quality than most of the typical cosplay places. But I still don't know if it's worth $100. Anyway guys, with all that said, you can use the discount code INS10 for a 10% discount code, or $10. I honestly don't know which it is, but give it a go. Let me know if you decide to. No, it's a, it's a quality wig. I don't regret having it in my collection. I'll see you guys next time. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and blah, all of that kind of crap. I'll see you guys next time.